Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, I will discuss about the topic 3.4 for the chapter 3. Topic 3.4 is about hypothesis testing for population proportion. In this case, we will use that test for our statistic test. The symbol for the population proportion is denoted by the pi symbol. For two-tailed test, we will reject the null hypothesis if the Z test is smaller than the lower critical value or if the Z test is greater than the upper critical value. Next, for the right tail test, we will reject the null hypothesis if the Z test is greater than upper critical value. And lastly, for the left tail test, we will reject the null hypothesis if the Z test value is smaller than the lower critical value. The hypothesis proportion, which is the pi node, can be any real value starting from 0 until 1. The test statistic we use is the Z test. So the Z test formula will be like this. The P represent the sample proportion with the formula of X divided by sample size. The pi node represent the hypothesis proportion. Now, we proceed with the example 3.6. An attorney claims that at least 25% of all lawyers advertise their services. A sample of 200 lawyers in a certain city showed that 63 had used some form of advertising. At alpha equal to 0 0.05, is there enough evidence to support the attorney's claim? From the question, we can get the information that the population is about the number of lawyers advertise their services. And then the hypothesis proportion is 25%, which is 0 0.25. With the keyword at least here, we can get our statistical hypothesis for the null hypothesis, we will get equal or more than. Meanwhile, for the alternative hypothesis, we get less than. From the first question, sorry, from the first sentence, they claim that at least 25% of all lawyers advertise their services. So our null hypothesis is the claim. Now proceed with the application of the test statistic. We use the Z test formula. So, from the second sentence, we can get the information about the sample size. M equal to 200. And then our X is 63. Then we can find our sample proportion with the formula X over N. We get 0 0.3, 0 0.315. And then with all the information we get, we can apply the Z-test formula. We will get the Z-test value with 2.1229. Next, we find the critical value. The alpha given is alpha equal to 0 0.05. Since this test is left tail test, so our critical value will be negative Z with the alpha 0.05. So, the critical value is negative 1.6449. And then, we will compare the Z-test value with the critical value of T distribution. In order to reject the null hypothesis, the Z-test value must be lower than the critical value. However, for our case, the Z-test value here is greater than our critical value then we do not reject the null hypothesis and then for the conclusion with the alpha equal to 0 0.05 there is insufficient evidence to reject the claim therefore there is enough evidence to support the attorney's claim now you can try these two questions from exercise 3.4 if you have any question regarding this topic 3.4, you can ask your lecturer from your own section. 
that's all for this video thank you